com concludes the mo motions for this section. I now want to ask Minister Kevin Humphreys to respond to the debate. Apologies, I have to be quick. At four minutes, so that works out about 24 seconds per motion. So, uh, I want, on motion one, I propose myself, so I support. Motion two, I support uh, paternity leave. We do need to have sm uh, support self employed. My department sub sub funds 11,000 people on back to work enterprise allowances, and that was increased. Uh, to 10 million in the last budget, and, and I'll leave Jed Nash to talk an awful lot about uh, the self employed because he has very strong and good ideas in that. Motion three, I just want to be very honest and be very straight. I do not oppose it, but the facts have to be clear. For a social insurance system to work, it requires universal contributions, all must contribute, to, uh, all must contribute according to their income. It wouldn't be fair to have any in any other way. A voluntary system for self-employed people will not work. So it will. Everybody will have to contribute. Uh, on motion four, first of all, I, and I've been involved, I've worked with a lot of Labour Youth members uh, during the European elections, and I want to commend Labour Youth for the work they've done in advocating for the youth guarantee, the low pay commission, which was realised this week, a living wage, zero hour contracts, and they've led debate in a very practical way and have always been focused on solutions. And that's a, 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 the history of the Labour Party. I would ask you uh, to consider referring it back. What I'm proposing is to establish a party policy committee on youth unemployment to examine income supports for young people, uh, the youth guarantee, training, education, enterprises and apprenticeships. The committee I would propose, I would chair myself, and I would ask uh, Labour Youth uh, to put forward e uh, either uh, the chair of the Labour Youth or to, to be the secretary of the committee. It would be very targeted, very focused, and I believe we could, we could have a report within uh, by July in relation to that. I'd ask uh, Labour Youth to consider that. I would request the com conference to refer it back. Motion number five will examine PRS Class J in context of the budget. Uh, uh, Motion six, I want to point out that only one in four job placements are under 25. And JobBridge is, a, is voluntary on both sides. It's voluntary for the participant and it's voluntary uh, for the employer. And if I have time, I just say, I've spent the last six months traveling around the various CE schemes, uh, two schemes, uh, etc. The one thing that's totally amazed me is the number of people that's told me that, you know, how it has helped them. I was talking to a young lady in Carlo yesterday uh, and she was on the two scheme and she explained how she was able to set up her own company because she was able to t work 19 and a half hours on her twos and use the, the remainder of the time to set up her own business. Uh, now she's, her business is up and running, very successful and she was only nine months on the two scheme before she went on into employment. Motion f 7 I believe will, fill, will feed into the manifesto. Motion 8, I fully support this motion. Uh, and Joan has found savings uh, to pay 25% of the uh, Christmas bonus. And I think if the economy keeps on growing as we believe it will, we can build on that in future budgets. Mo motion 9, uh, well, we increase child benefit by five euros and hope to do so again, and we've made it very clear. Social welfare payments have shown to have a huge impact on reducing child poverty, and Labour is committed to addressing this issue. Motion 10, I support this motion, and the Thomas is prioritising a universal system. There's a lot of legacy issues highlighted here, and once again, it will play an important role uh, in our manifesto. So thank, thank you, Dallas, for noticed. I've done it, in, I've saved 23 seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin, for